The first person version of Pizza Pie something something amore. I am Anon, walking home with a box of pizza under my arm. It was a long day of work at the store, but now I have the entire evening to relax. As I turn onto my home street, I spy a wooden table piled high with pizza boxes. Behind it is one of those aliens, colored like a Lisa Frank folder. As I approach, the alien catches sight of me and waves a hoof. I wave back, a little uneasy. The news is kinda contradictory about them. At first, CNN and the like praised them for having a matriarchal society. But once more mayors came over and started talking, Twitter erupted in feminist outrage about internalized misogyny, and the major network soon followed. Meanwhile, Fox ran daily segments on how the alien culture was infiltrating the polyamorous and academic communities. They said that herding is unsustainable for humans as it is predicted upon unequal gender ratios. Hi! Want to find your true love? I blink, finding myself just a few feet from the table. The alien mare is smiling up at me. I glance at the pizza boxes on the table. Is it you or something? She shakes her head. Definitely, or something. I already have a husband. No, I am here to offer you the opportunity of a lifetime. For the low, low cost of a slice of pizza, I will divine just who you are meant for. This is dumb. Aliens are dumb. Maybe she's trying to do some mail order bride thing or just scamming passerbys for pizza. You know what? I can respect the hustle. It's only one slice, after all. I retrieve a slice of pizza from my box and hand it to her. She opens one of the boxes and levitates my slice inside, a pale blue aura moving everything. It's kind of neat to see magic in person. The alien hums swaying back and forth. Her eyes shine with that same pale blue light, and her wings extend and tremble. It reminds me of a bird's mating dance, but that... that can't be it. Can it? Abruptly, she stops glowing and moving. She starts making dial-up noises, then printer noises. From thin air, two pieces of paper appear on a the table. They seem to be some sort of... registration form? Name, occupation, hobbies, etc. Uh, on one, the picture is of a Sarah McNair, a slightly pudgy but cute redhead in a hoodie, and the other is of a mare named Moon Dancer with butter yellow fur, glasses, and a comfy looking sweater. Eh, it's cute enough, I guess. So, are these from a dating website or something? The alien rolls her eyes. Of course not! It's love magic, pure and simple. I decide not to call her on the obvious lie. Looking back at the papers, I can't find any sort of contact information. So, what's the point of having these if there's not any way for me to get in contact with them? The alien takes a crystal ball out of nowhere and thunks it down onto the table. The scribe calling costs an additional slice of pizza, but is guaranteed to cross dimensions and reach all parties at a time that is convenient to them. I look blankly at the mayor. And she grins, hooves waving mystically around the crystal ball. Ugh, <sighs> fuck it. I give her another slice. The crystal ball begins to glow and the alien makes beep and boop noises. Abruptly, the ball projects two windows into the air in front of me, one showing Sarah brushing her teeth, wearing pink pajamas, and the other showing Moondancer brushing her mane. You honestly didn't expect it to work. Uh, hi? Sarah squeaks, dropping her toothbrush and spitting out the toothpaste. Moondancer's eyes go wide. Um, okay, is this Skype matchmaking? I scratch my cheek. I, I, I guess? Moondancer starts hyperventilating, and I raise my eyebrows. Um, no pressure. Pretty sure this is a pizza scam or something. Sarah wipes her mouth and tilts her head. A pizza scam? Yeah, the alien that set this up is doing everything in exchange for pizza. Moondancer gasps. Princess Cadence! Thank you, your majesty! Sarah seems just as confused as I am. Meanwhile, Princess Cadence nods graciously. You are quite welcome, my little pony. Sarah clears her throat. So, uh... Uh, what's going on here? I shrug. Ostensibly, we're all soulmates or something. I I'm pretty sure this is just the pony equivalent to a dating site. Sarah frowns. But I didn't even sign up for anything. I mean, 
I'm not objecting, you are pretty handsome, and... Oh gosh, I should just stop talking. She covers her face with her hands, but I can still see her blush around the edges, and I grin. You're pretty cute too. So maybe they're onto something. What do you think, Moondancer? The mare swallows nervously. My body's ready. I, I mean, uh, as Alpha Mare, I will treasure you both, you and your long, hot, full chasing legs. I blink at her. Full chasing legs? Moon Dancer begins to blush. Yes. Cadence coughs. If you would like to continue the call in private, I will be glad to sell you the scriping crystal for the rest of your pizza, Anon. I glance at my pizza, then at the cute, easily flustered girl and pony. Half of my pizza. Cadence makes a whining sound, then hangs her head in defeat. <sighs> Fine. Half of your pizza. As I walk away with my new crystal ball, I look over the papers. So, um, how does anime night sound? I need to catch up on this season anyway. Sarah grins. I'm down for that. Moon Dancer rubs her chin. Can we start with interspecies reviewers? For some reason, I can't get that on the horse net. I shrug. That's fine by me. I just haven't seen it. Sarah blushes. Should we watch the censored version, or...? I raise my eyebrows. Uh, whichever you're- Uncensored! I, I mean, if you have, and I, I don't mind. Moon Dancer grins nervously. Sarah turns nearly as red as her hair. I do have the uncensored version, so... Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess we're doing this. I had my doubts about that pizza pony, but... You know, maybe she was right. I'll just have to find out. Well, that was random, but very adorable. Speaking about random and adorable, here are my very amazing donators. Yoshi Super Saiyan 2, Peter Coltard, Dresden, Nicholas Springthorpe, Dospo, RuneScythe9852, Coria Cruci, David D. Sanchez, Toit Cornell, Gaggy, Secret Moon, Orion Pax Kaiju, Starlight Glimmer, Trey, Poke Killer Zack, Soul Dragon, Zack Britton, Joe Pierce E, and Reno. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one.